When I decided to give network marketing another try, I knew I had to do things differently than I had before. You've probably heard this before. Insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's from Albert Einstein, theoretical physicist. I was doing the same thing, which pretty much was nothing over and over again, but each time I started a new network marketing business, I expected to make money. Yikes, that is insane. Every other time I tried network marketing, I had a job. I know that's one of the reasons I failed, and one of the reasons so many other people fail in network marketing. Now, I'm not telling you to quit your job. Listen carefully. Do not quit your job. But when you have a job, you don't have to succeed in network marketing because you're already paying the bills with the money you make from your job. You don't have to succeed in network marketing. Therefore, you are more likely to put very little effort into your new business. Well, I'm, I'm just really tired today. I can't do anything on my business. Little effort means little money. And this is something a lot of people don't get. Little money equals frustration and frustration leads to giving up. I loved doing morning drive radio in Dallas, Texas. I also love working on television. The problem was I wasn't making enough money. At one time in my life, I worked two part-time jobs in addition to my full-time job on the radio so my wife wouldn't have to work and she could spend more time with our kids. I was rarely home and when I was, I was probably so tired and cranky, my wife and kids probably wished I was working. No matter what job I had, it was never enough. Now, I want to make this clear to you. I'm not anti-job. Keep your job. Listen to me carefully, please. Keep your job. Start your business part-time, but not in your spare time. Because every time you say, well, I'm going to do it in my spare time, you never have spare time. To this day, I still do voiceover work, commercials, training videos, on-hold messages, audio books, things like this video. Why? Well, why not? My voiceover work is done from my own in-house studio, and I do it whenever I feel like doing it. It doesn't take much time, it pays well, and I love doing it. I meet new people and develop new contacts who might be looking for some extra money. Some of them might even be interested in building a business so they can eventually quit doing whatever they do now. And that's the thing, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Some people are gonna say, oh, so you're doing this on the side. It's interesting, and they're gonna be interested in why you found this concept so appealing. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they start enjoying any success in network marketing is quitting their job too soon. Part-time is enough to start. Jim Rohn, author and professional speaker, says it this way. If you will devote, to start with, let's say 10 to 15 hours a week, where you'll start making a profit, here's what you can now say. I'm working full-time on my job and part-time on my fortune because profits lead to fortune. The company that I got involved with had only been around for three years, so there were only a few people who were already making $100,000 a year. I was smart enough to go to each one of them and ask if they would be kind enough to spend some time with me so I could learn from them. They were all willing and happy to share with me what they'd done to become successful, and I was thrilled. I was going to get the straight skinny. I was going to get the truth. They told me about the obstacles they had to overcome to succeed, spouses that didn't believe it would ever work, friends who laughed at them, the disappointment when their business wasn't growing fast enough. And let me just tell you this right now, it never, ever grows fast enough in the beginning. Does any of that stuff sound familiar to you? They told me everything. There was only one problem. I listened to them, but I didn't do what they said to do. Please learn from me. Don't make the mistakes I made. There's no easy way to say this. I was foolish. You might even go far as far as to say that I was stupid. Why would you listen to people and then not do what successful people had done? And the truth is, there are many people in this industry who think the same way. Three people were nice enough to give me several hours of their time and I didn't do what they told me to do and what they had done to become successful. I wasted their time. It's as if I thought that by hanging out with them that money would start magically falling from the sky. Well, money doesn't grow on trees. And the kind of money you can make in network marketing, it just doesn't happen overnight. I vividly remember the conversation I had with the absolute top guy in the company. And I'm almost ashamed to share this with you, but it's a valuable lesson, so I'm gonna swallow my pride. My friend Mark, and I'm happy to say that we're still friends after all the silly things I've done, Mark told me something that I knew instantly I wouldn't do. Now that sounds silly. He said, Scott, people fail because they don't take their new business seriously. 
And you should not work with those people if they don't do what you know they should do. That's ridiculous. Or at least that's what I thought at the time. I vividly remember thinking, I'm going to work with everybody. I'm going to work with everybody. That's, that's the right thing to do. Well, I was wrong. If you know somebody is about to drive off a cliff, shouldn't you tell them? You see, I'm sharing this information with you because I know if you just go out and do your own thing, if you don't find somebody in your upline who will teach you the exact words to say, the exact, exact things to do, I know you're about to drive off a cliff and fail in network marketing. I know it. If you know that what people are doing will not work and it will only cause them to fail, shouldn't you tell them? Of course you should. Mark was making $125,000 a year and I'd never made a dime in any network marketing company and I thought Mark was a jerk. I did. What do you mean you're not going to work with those people? I was the jerk. I wasted his time and I brought people into that business who failed. They might have succeeded if only I had listened to what he said and implemented it. He was an excellent role model for success and I was awful. He's a man to be admired, not only for success, but for the number of people he has helped. There's somebody or several somebodies like that in your company who would love to be what Mark was to me. Now, eventually, we'd become great friends and business partners. My friend was never a jerk. He knew so much more than I realized. But listen to me carefully. When somebody tells you the truth, even if you're having a hard time with what they said, stop and ask yourself, where are they? How successful are they? And shouldn't I really be listening to them? Do what successful people have done to become successful. Interestingly enough, when I started listening to Mark and others who were successful, ta-da, that's when my business started to grow. It's so simple and yet I feel so foolish that I wasted time. I profited greatly from all of my silly mistakes, thankfully, but I didn't in all the other companies. You see, in all the other companies, the silly mistakes I made caused me to quit without making a dime. Now, there are people who will take a look at network marketing and say, no thanks, I'm not interested. I've tried that. It doesn't work. What they are really saying, but that what they will never say to you is, I didn't work. They're not going to say that because they don't want to look in the mirror and blame themselves. I sincerely hope that what I'm saying to you right now, that I don't come off like a jerk because I'm just trying to be honest with you. Do what successful people do. I want you to enjoy the kind of life-changing success that I've enjoyed, the do whatever you want, whenever you want success. If it can happen for a stubborn guy like me, I know it can happen for you. But you need to do what successful people do. Find somebody in your upline who's already successful. Ask them, beg them if you have to. Ask them what they did to become successful and then do what they say. But here's an important tip. Make sure you find somebody who is in the game right now building the business. There are people in network marketing who are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year who aren't in the game. In other words, they aren't talking to people about the business on a daily basis. I've been there eventually when I was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, I kind of got out of the game for a while and wasn't doing anything. That's not the kind of person you're looking for. You're looking for somebody who's still building their business, making a lot of money, successful, but still building the business on a, if not daily basis, at least weekly basis. They're talking to people about joining your opportunity. Listen to what legendary author Dale Carnegie had to say about success. The successful man will profit from his mistakes and try again in a different way. Thankfully, I eventually, after many years of failure, profited from my mistakes because I didn't listen to people. Then I found out what those successful people did and didn't do what they did to become successful. Eventually, I said, wow, this isn't working my way. And I'm stubborn. Hopefully you're not as stubborn as I was. I was just like, this isn't working my way. Maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am. Maybe I should just do what those people did to become successful. I'll almost beg you, but it never works to beg people in network marketing. But I'll plead with you, please find somebody 
in your company, in your upline, who's actively involved in the business right now and do what successful people do.